Hey everyone, Robert Molnar here, and welcome to the second video of my 100k formula in a nutshell online video series. Today I'm going to do two really cool things for you guys. I am going to share with you kind of how online marketing used to be done maybe like four or five years ago, and then I'm going to share with you how mar online marketing is done today, and why online marketing done today is so much more effective than the way things used to be done four or five years ago and how you can apply those same strategies into your own business. So I'm going to be using the whiteboard for this video and I'm going to start off by sharing with you how online marketing used to be done. So I'm going to be using a fictitious completely made up uh, company website called selfhelper.com Okay, so selfhelper.com has its own website. All right, and maybe on this site they have some products. They have some information on the products, maybe some testimonials, maybe a video over here. And that's Self Helper's online business hub, is their website. So how do they get people to their website? Well, they have to attract traffic, right? So over here, I'm going to draw a little car for the traffic. Uh, please excuse my bad drawing. Uh, I'm not the best artist in the world. So there we go. Got a little car there. And um, Self Helper uses magazines, um, maybe, maybe online ads, uh, social media, so self-helper attracts all this different traffic from all of these different sources, right? Magazines, online ads, social media, like Facebook, Twitter, that kind of stuff. And then it attracts its traffic to its website. Now, before the traffic can even get onto the website, they're stopped right here, right at the end, right at the doorway. And they're asked for an email. Everyone's experienced this, right? So then once they've submitted their email, they're free to access the website and they can they pretty much go along their business. You know, they order they want to order some products, they go ahead and do that. Maybe they watch a few videos, uh, read some information, maybe they'll come back at a later time and order some order some stuff. So then what happens? After self helper has collected their emails here. Maybe they have another product they want to they want to promote. And so what would happen is when they have another product they would promote, this is the product, they would send emails to their list. They would send more emails to their list, to the same people who submitted their email address at the doorway. Right? So these emails would go to those people about all, all these different all these different products that they're that they're launching and sponsoring. And these would go out every single day, sometimes multiple times a day, sometimes not every day, sometimes you know a few times a week. But the point is self helper would promote their new products by just bombarding their list with emails. So then what happened? People started building a wall between themselves and you know the marketers that were promoting stuff online. And eventually that wall led to the complete collapse of this of this way of doing business online you know people people started 
making fake email addresses. I know because I've done this a few times. Like if you if you if you go to a website and you're asked to submit your email address, just put in a fake one or maybe a side one that you never even check out, or maybe just you know people just shut themselves out altogether. Whatever the case may have been, this method of marketing yourself online no longer works and is not effective at all anymore. Maybe it was five years ago, but not anymore. So how do you market yourself online now? If this isn't working, if this method of marketing isn't working anymore, what do you do? And so this is where things kind of get really exciting because this is the cool part. Okay. So again, this, this was the old, this is a diagram of the older method of marketing and now I'm going to show you how things are done today and why it is so much more effective for your business. Okay? So let's erase this really quick. Get all that stuff off of there. Okay. So, you know what I think I'm going to do for the sake of consistency? We're going to use selfhelper.com again. So we're going to use the same company, selfhelper.com, except this time we're going to set up a funnel for selfhelper.com. Or I'm sorry, we're going to set up a, a marketing strategy for selfhelper.com that is just going to be so much more effective and much, much, much more successful when applied. Okay, so selfhelper.com goes at the top again. Okay, cool. So, how does it start out? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it from the traffic all the way down. So, again, you start out with the traffic. I'm gonna draw another car. Shouldn't have erased it, but it's okay, it takes two seconds. Okay. Got the little car, and how you how are you gonna get the traffic? Same way, magazines, uh, ads, online ads, social media. You know, however however you want to do it. So then you get the traffic, and you take them to what's called a capture page. Now already. Um, this is much more effective than the older way, and I'm going to show you why. So on the capture page, on the capture page, this is where you capture their email address. That's why it's called the capture page. So just as the, just like before, just like with the, with the older model of selfhelper.com, this newer model is going to have a capture page, and this is where you're going to capture the email address. Okay? And on the capture page, you always want to offer them something for free. So maybe, maybe if, if you're working with, because selfhelper.com, that's self-help. So maybe if on your capture page, you'll have like, here, grab this free book. Or uh, here, check out this free, um, I don't know, this, this free Tony Robbins seminar uh, that was done last month. Or give, them, give them something for free. You always want to give them something for free on, their capture, on the capture page. So then you're taken... Then once once you once you have their capture page, you're taken to what's called once you have them on the capture page, you're taken they're taken to what's called an upsell. Now if they liked your free product and you promoted it the right way and you set everything up so it was awesome, they should like your capture page and they should have ordered your free product, whatever it is. And they should be really excited to see, you know, what's next, what else, what else is there. So they're taken to your upsell. And maybe on your upsell, you want to, you want to spice things up a bit. Maybe you want to offer them a, um, I don't know, 
get this collection of every self, a box of every self-help book for, I don't know, forty nine ninety nine, right? That's a little expensive. And we'll throw in a free, we'll throw in a few free um, success guides or something. So you want to offer them something just a step up. And you just, it just, it, it needs to be just, if you, if it's, if, if your front end offer wasn't free, it should be very, 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 very cheap. And your upsell should just be a little bit more expensive. So maybe we'll make this $34.99. $34.99. And they get a collection of every self-help book. So... And a collection of a collection of videos teaching them about a successful mindset. So successful mindset training. Mindset training. Okay. And that's all gonna be in the upsell. And I, I said if, if you don't give away something for free, just charge a little bit. What you could do is, if you still want to say this is free, I'm giving it to you for free, uh, you can add a, uh, you can do like free shipping and handling. So here, this is for free. Just cover, you know, the shipping and handling expenses. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do. But yeah, you, you typically you want to keep what's on your capture page free. You want to give away free information. Always free. Then they go to your upsell and it's just, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of money and here you get, you get more really cool stuff. And then they're taken to an order page. This is the order page. And on this page, this is where they, they've said they want this. They want the, uh, the free stuff on your capture page. And then they, they said, yes, I do want the upsell. I want this too. I want this added to my order. So this is where they fill out their order, right? And they fill out, you know, their address and, and credit card information. And what's really cool about the credit card information, guys, is, is if you can get people to pull their credit card out, they are in spending mood. They will want to spend. So that that is really good. That's what you want to do. Um, and maybe, you know, you could even... You could even customize it a little bit. You can um, say you want to say you want to add one more thing to your order. That's what's called an order bump, right here, or maybe on the order page itself. There's what's called an order bump. Sorry for my messy handwriting. And the order bump, you know, is just like a little I don't know, like Oprah's top 10 secrets to a prosperous lifestyle or, you know, something, something like that, where it's just a little bit of added information just for a little bit of extra, a little bit extra cost. You want to keep the order bump cheap. You want to keep it at around, I don't know, like between 15 and 20 bucks, I'd say 10, 20 bucks. So I'll say $15 for or Oprah's, Oprah's top 10 secrets to living a prosperous lifestyle. Well, I'll just write Oprah. Okay, cool. So yeah, so they're taken to the order page and their order is complete. Now guys, can you already see how this is a much more effective way of marketing yourself online than the older school method of marketing we were talking about before? Not only is this much, much, much more foolproof and you're not bombarding your your uh, your customers with emails, but you're also allowing them to keep going further and further and further into what you have to offer, and um, you get a lot more out of it. So then once you go to the order page, and the coolest thing about it is, why stop there, right? Why stop at the order page? Maybe, maybe you want to do a webinar, and maybe you want to, maybe it'll be a, 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 a top secret platinum webinar about how you, how, how, how to completely change your financial situation no matter where you may be, right? So I'll do, I'll do a webinar on how to, I'll do a premium webinar on how to, how to 
completely change your financial situation no matter where you may be right now, I'll just call it a webinar. <laughs> I'll just call it a webinar. All right? Well, the webinar is where you talk about your products, right? So you talk about, you know, what, what you have to offer. How can you, you know, how can you change your financial situation? And, and, you, and you hype up. The point of the webinar is to hype up your next product. Here, I'll just do that. So the next product is going to come in over here. So once they've gone to the webinar and they like it and they're like, yeah, I want to learn how to change my financial situation wherever I may be. You know, this, this seems like really cool stuff. They're, good, they're naturally going to want to keep progressing further into your funnel and they're going to want to be a part of your, um, of, we'll call it the, uh, the financial, the, the prosperous financial something. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll call it the, uh, the financial program, I guess, just for the sake of keeping the video short. So once they've gone through your webinar and they like what you have to talk about, they are going to sign up for your program and learn as much about they can, as, as much as you have to offer them about changing their financial situation. And what the greatest thing is, notice how, you know, it starts free, then it goes 34, then the webinar. You always want to keep going higher. You want to, per, you want to ascend your consumers up the ladder of your funnel. So you always want to make each offer better than the last one. And you always want to make it a little bit more expensive, right? So maybe I'll make this program, I mean, this is going to be a high ticket item. So maybe we'll make it $49.99. No, I'm sorry. I, I, we'll make it, um, why don't, you know what, why don't we make it $199? So almost 200 bucks. So it, it costs $1.99 to get inside that program. And you know what? Why stop at the program, right? Maybe you want to have a done-for-you service somewhere. So maybe once they've gotten the program and they like it, they want to keep going and they want to keep improving things. Maybe they have changed their financial, uh, their financial situation and you know they want to keep going and see what else you have to offer. So maybe you'll have a done-for-you um, service where you can literally drop down a six-figure business into onto their desktop. Wouldn't that be cool? So yeah, that'll be the done for you service. Done for you. Okay, cool. And that's gonna be more expensive. Why don't we make that make that ninety nine ninety nine? So see, do you see how do you see how progressing people up the ladder allows you to not only get more out of it but make more money, right? So ninety nine I'm sorry, did I said nine 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 nine. I said nine hundred and I meant nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. So the done for you service will be nine hundred and ninety nine dollars point ninety nine cents. Nine 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 nine. And um and yeah, you can keep going from there. I've heard people who go so far as, you know, they build it up to a million dollar product where they literally charge their customers a million dollars for one of these products and it, it works. I've seen it happen. It's very cool. You can literally, you know, as, as long as you create the content and you have stuff to offer, you can literally go as far as you want with this and build a business as big as you want it. It's awesome. So stay tuned for my next video. By the way, if you think this is all cool stuff, make sure that you apply for my attractive uh, character funnel program because this is just this is just this is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm going to be thoroughly covering these concepts, and I'm going to be going in depth of of how you can do this for yourself. Uh, what steps do you need to take 
to get this done. Um, um, and even even if you're like a brand new newbie online marketer, you don't know any of this stuff. This is all foreign. I'm going to explain to you step by step how you can set this up for yourself so you can be successful online no matter where you are and no matter what niche you may be in right now. This works for any business. And my goal for you guys is to help you get to a level of success where, I mean, you guys can teach this stuff on your own. I want you guys to learn all this stuff and um, be able to increase your businesses and, and level of success just as I have been just through learning this stuff. So make sure that you sign up for my Attractive Character Funnel Program because there's going to be so much cool stuff inside of that program. I can't even, I can't even, it's not done yet. And I still have like, I have so many things that I'm, I'm going to be putting in there. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Um, and stay tuned for my next video. In my next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and actually build this out on the computer. Isn't that cool? So I'm actually going to sit down and build out one of these funnels on the computer, like an operating, like an operating, you know, completely functional funnel online. So stay tuned for that and be sure to check me out in my next video because I will be covering much more cool stuff. And again, be sure to sign up for my attractive character funnel program because there is so, so, so much cool stuff in there. It's, it's totally going to blow you guys away. You guys are not going to believe what you, what you see.